part of my major effort will be toward keeping the society strong and of great value to our members and to our patients and using the COVID experience that we've had uh, to help guide us. Well, it was pretty clear in our hospital um, how COVID affected us um, in one of our hospitals. One of our hospitals is a major trauma center and a very large community hospital. And in that hospital, um, the numbers of people affected by COVID that came into the hospital and were treated on the front line by my partners uh, was enormous, hundreds of people. And it, in that hospital, in the hospital where I work, a cancer hospital, it became evident and is only now becoming less evident or becoming less the reality that the interventional radiologists were often among the very few people that were staffing the hospital. We would be the ones going to the bedside and putting in dialysis catheters or the ones treating the patients with COVID-related pulmonary emboli. There were so many times that um, my techs, nurses, doctors were exposed to COVID and my partners, several of them suffered COVID, several of our nurses and techs, but we did it. We kept going and that's what people see. That's what they saw. It was not hidden. And uh, that was a very valuable experience for others to see that we were there, we stepped up and patients benefited. Throughout the world, the stress for increasing diversity is clear and it's clear in our societies. We need it. We need it to be able to do a better job serving our patients and to do a better job as a society. So with those two overriding sentiments coming through the pandemic and really stressing the importance of a diverse membership and leadership, my specific goal is related to research and to the employment of research as a mature specialty to guide our, what we do. We're pushing as a society, as a specialty, for people to become involved in research, to do high quality research, and also to join us in Vertex. And Vertex is a societal registry that we are developing, have developed, that we're hoping to enlist as many people in both private practice and academics to join. It's clear to IRs that the things that we do help patients, that their lives are better and longer because of what we have done. But patient care is extremely complicated and many, many doctors take part and other healthcare providers take part in the care of our patients. And the things that we do in interventional radiology are often hidden by the beauty that is our specialty. A person with a pancreatic abscess gets a pancreatic drain, but that's only one little part of the care and it gets lost in the hospitalization. So it's hard to quantify the value to that patient of your drain, of your gastrostomy tube, of your dialysis catheter in that whole structured patient experience or unstructured patient experience. So what happens is people have been treated by IRs, their hospitalization was likely decreased, the, amount, the length of stay, the morbidity was treated or prevented, and yet no one knows or very few people know. So by having evidence stating we put this many dialysis catheters in this many people who had this many this type of disease, and then comparing that to a situation perhaps where it didn't occur, or just looking at the, the hospitalization itself, we can demonstrate that value.